I think they have an important role after the patient has been adequately fluid resuscitated. So the first priority is to give the right amount of fluid and if there is still ongoing evidence of poor perfusion allied to a low blood pressure and or a low cardiac output, then there is a need for these drugs. At the moment, there are not many good studies to show that catecholamines are a perfectly safe option. We've used them for many years, and so they have become our first-line agents. However, recent evidence does suggest they may be harmful. However, if you are going to use a catecholamine, my particular practice is to use epinephrine for patients with a low cardiac output and norepinephrine for patients with a high cardiac output. Our current practice is to use terlipressin in patients on large doses of catecholamine, although we do not use it in patients with a low cardiac output because the complication rate is much higher in terms of digital ischemia, increase in acidosis. So in view of the recent trial from Canada that was published in the New England Journal on low-dose vasopressin, we are now considering to move to using low-dose vasopressin as a first-line agent.